Okay, this is going to be a short walkthrough in changing banner size for WordPress 2011 theme. Uh, so let's get right into it. First thing you can notice is over here in the uh, appearance area, you'll notice there's themes, widgets, menus, theme options, background, header, and editor. So I'm just pointing that out because once we install this plugin, we're going to get a new section here. I think it's going to have to do with something like uh, header size or something like that. So you'll, you'll notice that once we install the plugin. So there's a couple ways we could do this to change the size. One way is we can go in and like manually edit the uh, CSS. So we can go into like here to editor. Click that. And then here you can see we're like inside of like the actual, uh, I guess you could say, uh, code or whatever. So this is this one here is called style CSS, and over here you see all your different files. So you can go in and you can edit any of these, but it takes a little bit of like kind of like you know you kind of have to know like the CSS or PHP or whatever uh, to be able to do that. So that's one way to do it. It's a little bit more advanced, but there also happens to be for the 2011 theme. There's a quick and easy plugin that makes it very simple. So we can just do that. We can go to uh, plugins and we can go here to add new and click that. Not loads. And here we go to search for plugins. And I already have to know what the name of the plugin is and I have it. So I can just control B. And here you'll see it's called Resize 2011 Header. So if you just type that in and then hit search plugins, it'll uh, find it for you. And this is the plugin. And it comes directly off of the WordPress.com site. So it's like, uh, what do you call that? So whatever, original legit plugin. Uh, so then you just go and click install now. Are you sure you want to install this plugin? Click OK. So here it says it's downloading it, unpacking it, installing it, and then we just activate it. And then you'll notice we'll get an extra choice here in the appearance. Activate plugin. Now this is our whole list of plugins. So you can see here's the plugins I have already installed. Uh, I, I mean, this is for like another site I was building, so I'm not even sure if these are working for 2011 or what, but you can see now we have resize 2011 header. And then also here in the appearance, we got resize header, which I, that's why I pointed it out to you in the beginning so that you'd be able to notice that that wasn't there before and now it is. Just because we installed this header, I mean this plugin, is activated. And if you wanted to deactivate it, you can. I can just show you that. Deactivate it, and then you can even delete it if you want to get rid of it, but I don't. So we'll just reactivate it again. And then again, you see resize headers here. And then boom, this is like really easy and um, straightforward way to be able to change the header size and it's made possible through this plugin so resize header size so then you would just put that in save it and then you'd be good to go so that's that hope it helps yep see ya